One last person I want to thank. That's my beautiful wife, Emily. I really like the sound of that. You look amazing. I feel so blessed and so privileged that you are now in my life and agreed to marry me. I love you more than words can express and look forward to spending my rest of the life with you. Thank you for that. I can't wait to grow up. No, I can't wait. But, um, share our life together. Bend down and kiss Emily. What? <laughs> I love the way you're always there for me, the way you can make me smile at any time, the way you still bore me through the hardest and saddest days of my life. The moments our paths crossed, you have surprised me, distracted me, captivated me and challenged me in a way that no one else has. I have fallen in love with you again and again and still can't believe that today I get to marry the love of my life and my best friend. Growing up with Emily, we had our really close times, but we also had our times where it was pretty hard to get along. I drove Emily crazy in those days. I was constantly reading her diary, teasing her about boys, <laughs> listening into her phone conversations. But looking back now, I did all of those things because I really looked up to Emily. She's the one I can call at any hour to laugh or cry or complain, and the one that will be there no matter what. Not so tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I stand here on Emily's wedding day, and she has shown me once again, through example, the meaning of true love. <laughs> I promise to be true to you, to respect you, to frustrate you, encourage you, and challenge you, to laugh with you, and to cry with you, and to share with you the most beautiful moments of our life. I can't promise to fix all of our problems, but I can promise you that you won't have to face them on your own. I promise you my unconditional love, tenderness, and undying devotion to not ask you to be more than you are and to love you for being you. To you I promise to cherish and share everything, not just for this moment, not for an hour or day or year, I'll always love you. Seems like yesterday you were running around the backyard and your little gumboots sloshing around. <laughs> <laughs> Eating the strawberries and the tomatoes out of the garden. Yeah. Feeding the birds. <laughs> Pulling the heads off ducks and chooks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now look at you, all grown up. Your one wish has come true. You got married. <laughs> Friends, we are gathered here today to share in the happiness of Brent and Emily on this day, the day of their marriage. At this moment, they will bring the love in their hearts and the dreams which bind them together, and out of which will grow the reality of their life together. Someday, if the stars align, I may even let you win an argument. No matter what challenges we face together, or how much time has passed, I know that our love will remain the same. I promise to remember that neither one of us is perfect, but I'll remind myself of all the ways that we are perfect for each other.
I love the way that you always kiss me at night and you make me feel at ease. I believe that we always find strength in one another and continue to grow side by side. I believe in the truth of what we are and I will love you always with every beat of my heart. I promise here today in front of all our friends and family that whatever comes our way, we will be stronger together. Today, I choose you for the rest of my days. I promise to be there when you need me most and to be understanding and by your side for whatever this journey will throw at us. I also promise to annoy you and drive you insane, but I'll always love you from this day and forevermore. My commitment to you is one I give willingly, absolutely, and without hesitation. I am yours utterly and have been since the moment we met. By the Commonwealth of Australia, I declare the Brent and Emily to be husband and wife. Now you may kiss each other in front of your family and friends, 